Okay. Versus S2J and Shroomed, representing IMT, Tempo Storm. On the other end, West got Coast Liquid. An unsponsored Professor Pro. If you're a British esports organization or EU esports organization looking to break your way into this crazy game we call Melee, we've got your man right here. Professor Pro, unsponsored. Yeah. Shorten there to prevent himself from uh, STing at the beginning. Green Team had a great run earlier against Smash God and Lod. Right. So what do you think their game plan should be versus Shroom and SJ? Well, Shroom and SJ is going to be a super aggressive team. You want to look out for SJ's great zoning and Shroom's uh, edge play. Uh, ideally, ideally Jinx stock tanks. But right. I was going to say that pretty bad. Uh, both these characters suffer from recovery games, so both Sheik and Ooh. Falcon are pretty bad off stage. Look at S2J moving and grooving. Sitting to seven stocks to six. Seven stocks to five, excuse me. Red uh, team has a nice yeah. lead. Professor Pro, Professor Pro kind of getting bullied out. So whenever I see a fox getting bullied, I start to direct my attention towards Puff. Is Puff being forced away from the fights? Is the fox just choking? You have to look at the teammate when one of the teammates are... You have to is look at the other pressure. guy, yeah, when, exactly. the, when one of them is under pressure. It's not um, just a one-man show right there. Under pressure. So Prof has been doing really good pressure, but he hasn't been able to knock Sheik off and edge guard successfully, right. right? It's always one or the other. But right there, Hungrybox picks up the slack, gets that edge guard in. Five to five, but high percent yeah. on Hungrybox. Just one more helping hand seals out the stock. That's another time where, where Prof gets a shine, but he doesn't grab the edge fast enough. Right. There are a lot of times where Ifia just grabbed the Ooh. ledge. Ooh, great drill, but yeah, it was enough. hard to recover. It was enough, but it's not enough to save Professor Pro if he's going to go all the way out there. That was a sick, ambiguous knee from Johnny. Yeah. He, he almost reversed it, but didn't. Five to four. Oh, Johnny. Trying to see Six what he can down. do with Professor, with Professor Pro at low percent. Hungrybacks at low percent as well. He's got to be able to make this work. We get this edge guard on Sheep. Fox does a good job covering the fast option on platforms. Yeah. That forward air giving uh, Hungrybacks a little bit more percent than he expected on that edge guard attempt, and it doesn't even go through. Yeah, unfortunately, it was blocked. Sheep right here. Unable to get close to Falcon to stop that kill. She losing her second to last stack on her final stack now. Shroom I wouldn't say has been making major game plays here. Right. But stack is favorable oh, for red man. team. But Jigglypuff at high percent, yeah, that's gonna make it relatively easy to close out if they can get a 2v1 a oh, or just a random platform drop for them. Dang. Up to down. Yeah. Up Ooh, to down. Oh, the back air. Tries the back air. Oh, look at that little tip of the forward. A little too cute on the combo is in my opinion. Yeah. Like right here, this is a cobalt moment. <laughs> you know what though? Miss tag. Shroom and S2J are, uh, are not Wizrobe and uh, West Balls. West Balls. The, the circus music has stopped. We're now into a little bit more more planned out territory. Of course, even if the circus music has stopped, you know, Team Beer has just begun. On the other end, I think that uh, Professor Pro is getting bullied too hard and Hungrybox is unable to target switch effectively. Yeah, Red Team has been doing a great job of actually engaging with Puff and right. not over committing to it. Exactly. Like, that's Hungrybox's um, mind game, to use West Balls' word, is getting you to overcommit against him in doubles. That gives Fox so much freedom. Definitely agree. And it's always hard to engage her in the air. There's so many different versions of her drifting away. Really great gameplay from Shroom. He's going to get oh, shined by... It wasn't Prop, it, enough. He, yeah, it's not enough. That's Shroom, though. Shroom is like, in singles and doubles, he lives forever and has the best DI. Yeah, he I has... Think Great survival, and I just want to say that if Hungrybox were to help out Prof just a little bit more, they could seal right. out these kills. And it seems like too many, too often I see them doing two one v ones. But you know, this is what I was alluding to when I, you know, talked about how I think Puff is a little bit overrated in doubles. Is it's really hard for her to target switch if she's this far away. Yeah, so like her mobility is really how, bad. Yeah, it took her Hungrybox so much time to get across the stage, and so who eats the punishment for that? Fox, Fox takes it. Fox eats the punishment. And it really comes down to can. Hungrybox find a strong position that can target switch, right? And, and yeah. with this wide stage, it's going to be very hard. She yeah. has to commit, right? Now, yeah. She zones airily in the air, sorry. On Dang. the other hand, I was going to say, on the other hand, you can't that catch is the sick. Right. That's what Hungrybox brings to the table. How do you catch that rest in the air? Is it. He sees a good God. Kanye rest. That down smash sent way too far, in my opinion. Yeah. I don't know if that should have killed. You got him with a fidget spinner, dude. Yeah, right? Bad, Bad DI. DI fidget. 
S2J, red team on four stocks. Yeah, S2J leading the way. Like we said, some of the best teams play, this is the Armada Android style, is the blender in the lid. One guy goes in, rips them apart, and when they try to escape the pressure, put him back in. You get sent right back in. Yeah, man. Oh. Dang, Shroom, great job, great form. Oh, Gets the, the roll away, but a tech. double stick tech. Yeah, yeah. great job from HBox. And right now, green team slipping into the lead. Five to four. Yeah, and with pretty high percent on red descending team. Descending as they speak. It's kind of weird because it seems like red team has such control of the map, but I feel like green team because of the rest. Oh, and there it is, is from that just Johnny. A double kill from Johnny. No, it's not it looks quite. Like Fox is gonna be fine. Good coverage by Hungry Box, making Good that edge guard. Too, yeah. yeah. Johnny did do some explosive damage, and you're right. It looks like red team's in dominance all the time, but the percents don't say the same. Right. There are facts, and there are facts. But Professor Pro losing his stock there. Green team really needs to close out these red stocks if they're able to, uh, if they want to keep this game even. Because otherwise they're going to start getting this tempo taken away from them. Yeah, that's one of them. And then Fox should be able to steal out. 1v2, yep. How did that know? It Got always it. works this way. It always works. Fox up smash. So Johnny and them, they wait for each other to double invincible approach. Really good. Now Shroomed is going in. The new blender. And his name is Immortal Shroomed. Let's Dang. See. I Drop think that's the pressure. Oh, goodness. Raw knee. Smart back off from red team. They yeah. see Invincible Jigglypuff coming. Gotta kill Professor Pro here so you can 1v2 H back safely. Quote unquote. Oh, great roll away by SJ. He didn't want to risk anything. He's at low percent. If he gets skimmed, he'll be so upset. Yeah. Hungrybox making his presence known. Trying to challenge Dang. this. Oh, the Fox pinball was machine. Saved by the bear. Saved by the bear. <laughs> The new sitcom coming your way. Look at Professor Pro at 193%. That big Nair is going to eat up the whole platform. And I mean, what is Jigglypuff doing there? You can't say they didn't try to keep him alive. But sooner or later, God will cut you down. Great positioning. And it looks like this is our first best of five on stream. That's we are right. into top 16 right now. That's right. So the winner of this set is going to fight the winner of Armada Android versus Nun Nightmare. Nun oh. Nightmare, of course, defeating MACD, chilling in a very close set. Nun Nightmare versus Armada Android. I could see that actually being really interesting. As opposed to, you know, fake interesting. No, I definitely agree. Right. Nun Nightmare had some decent synergy coming out. Falcon Marth, one of my favorite teams. Now, Professor Pro and Hungry Box are going to have to dig deep. They need a 3-0 comeback to stay in winner's bracket. Yeah. Big things that were missing from their previous winner side match, I think, were rest setups by Pro. Sure. So up tilts or up throws or grab setups into rest. And that's what I'm saying is it's kind of the same story as Puff and singles, which is Puff's win rate spikes so hard if she can just get one or two rests. Per match. Now, oh, obviously yeah. that makes sense. It's a it's a really quick KO. But like the spread is from like 30% if you don't get a rest to, pop, to 70% if yeah, you do. Yeah, exactly. And that's, the plus uh, or minus 20 is just too much yeah. for a lot of players. And I think that data is from Hungrybox versus Mango specifically, which is oh, know, that's one of the quintessential matchups. But it works in doubles too, and Hungrybox leading his team to a stock parity, 5-5. Five to five. This map is so different from Dreamland, and it kind of surprised me. Troll out. Dang, did up smash was invincible? What a world. Fox is taking a sick amount of damage. It's like 80%. Yeah. Look at how close Shroomed and SJ play together in moments like that. Though. Yeah, their ability to play off of each other's hits is too good. Yeah. What attack. Prop going to the edge. Great play. Good Look at angle. that. Just ignore, just ignore the troll out. Oh, the single the, needle. The, the needle stops rollout? What an anti-attack. Dude, I love it, though. You know what? Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. They pro really just roll back into... Hey, I, you know what? I used to do that in my local doubles. You know, I just charge a smash attack, and sometimes my partner runs into it. Bad teammates. You know what I'm saying? Bad teammates. <laughs> I can't do anything. I'm charging. Bad teammates. I'm, hey, dude, you saw me charging for like three seconds. I'm going to work. <laughs> Red team pulling it back. Good stock counts. Kappa. We're sitting at four to three. Oh, another rest. Shroom tries to turn it around, gets a little bit of damage with rest punish. That's Man, pretty good in the 1v2. Hungerbox has been really equalizing this a lot, and I think Prof has to stabilize his, his stocks. I mean, that's true of so many Hungrybox teams, is it just rides or dies on his ability to get quick kills. Because otherwise, the target switching is so slow from Puff that yeah. you just get outclassed by any good synergy right. uh, team. And Prof is being double teamed by these great players. Comes back cool. to save. Interesting. 
Probably unintentional. Probably unintentional. He rides the wall. He's gonna be fine. But Puff wasn't. Yeah, Puff, Puff took way too much damage. Dang. All right. This is the moment where Hungrybox Rust will make or break this game. Shroomed is in the air. It's the 1v2. Pro can't edge guard SDJ. He's too scared yeah. of getting whipped back from the up air. Gets a lot of miss edge guards, really, from Professor Pro. Oh, Hungrybox's moment. He's Good creating the wall. Good block from Pro. SDJ fighting back on the wall, creating a breach. They were yeah. able to get Hungrybox set up. Such intense zoning coming from HBox and the red team. Pro's trying to dash in and stay out of it. So Dang. smart. Up air. Oh, and now it's looking Dang. like the 1v2 from Shroomed. Okay, the battle so right is now, on. depending on how careful you are, this is this is green Super, team's win. Uh, yeah. Right? You get you can easily set up a situation where Sheik has no outs. This is such high percent though, and if they imprecisely set up a situation, it's good game. Okay, this is the beginning of it. Gets the grab, follow up off stage. Now they got Great the flow chart. Upgrades. Oh, they mess up the flow chart. A little bit slow from Hungrybox. They've still got Sheik off stage. The, sh the Dude, sing stall, this should be a kill. That sing was really risky. Yeah, the neutral air. Dude. All right, carries him off stage. Dang. And Hungerbox lives. There you go. He what was sick was Professor Pro went high and right. DI up from the nair. So teams players back at home, watch how that goes. Watch how the DI up is always yeah. good in teams. It's good presence of mind. Good zen in a moment where, you know, we've seen teams collapse. And especially because Hungrybox had just kind of missed the setup earlier. The ability for Pro to keep trusting that Hungrybox would be able to follow up. He definitely Shows tried boost grab or dash grab instead of dash attack. Right. In case Shroom got a shield up. Yeah. But it, I think it was a case that uh, Professor Pro could have just had a normal get up. He didn't have to do roll. Yeah. But nevertheless, miscommunication didn't We're destroy their trust. Oh. Uh, the buffered air dodge. Always a bad sign. Especially if Fox. You don't want to be down the stock. Let's see how Hungrybox handles his edge guard attempt. Right. Shroom, really good at mixing it up. This air dodge saved him. Okay, eight stocks to seven. Still the only stock on the board is that SD. Ooh, Shroom from the edge. Yeah, right. Shroom is classic pressure. Cheek. Pro gets that up throw up air. Oh, and then Johnny's gonna yeah. open up all of the stage. Keep your eyes on Professor Pro right here. He's the one in the danger zone. Okay. Dash out into a dash attack. Yep, stuck versus Shroom, then no Puff to the rescue, but Puff Dang. able to fend for herself. What a great setup on Shroom, catching that in the eye from the dash attack. Yeah. Right now, once again, Professor Pro, the key player. He's stuck in the corner down with Shroom, so we switch over to Hungrybox. Hbox holding the sides pretty strongly. Surprising. There he goes, he gets a jab. There it is, yep. Oh, and another SD from Pro. After all that work. Hunger. And I want you to. Uh, I brought your eyes to the stock count. Right. We got two tanks. Four stocks on SJ. And two carries, yeah. I like the transition. SJ was playing more of a carry in game one. And then transitioned into a support when it seemed like Shroom was playing uh, playing a little bit better in that role. Yeah, and Professor Pro is also having a hard time pushing outwards. When your carry is, is not having a good time against the edge, it's very tough. Oh, the knee. Knee into the fidget spinner, gets another knee off stage, but it's soft and not enough to kill Hungrybox at 65%. This dash dance attempt is broken up. That's a rest! But a double knee! Double knee, that's a kill. Wasn't enough to kill, uh, Drug, or not Drugbox, Professor, Professor Pro. Professor Pro is waiting for that dash dance grab. Oh! oh the rest gets interrupted a in a forward rest. smash. He isn't able to cover. He gets the fourth throw. Hungrybox! Hungrybox Kanye, rest! That button, dude, popping off. Oh, there's the... There's the knee. I think S2J. Great job by Professor Pro not engaging the rest. Don't yeah. get double hit. S2J waking up a little bit, throwing out more kill moves, realizing they gotta end Professor Pro's last stock, force this team onto their last stocks, where Hungrybox will be at a little bit higher percent. Yeah, so right now, it looks like once it gets this, this edge guard rest. But the off, Professor dude. lives! Whoa! 157% gets that one last back air. There's major miscommunication there about the up throw. I think Fox should have handled that, but. Yeah. But now Shroomed is the one in the hot seat at high percent. Is that two up smashes? Oh, that's yep. one. All right, now we look over to Hungrybox. He's going to be the focus. Can Professor Pro protect? They're going to use their invincibility to double team Fox, and it did not work out. Yeah. Oh, the knee from the ledge, and two of them. A third oh, coming soon. No jump. He grabs the ledge. All right. Professor Pro playing pretty good right now. He's got a 1v2 opportunity here with SJ at high percent. And Cheek. Oh, but there it is. 
Should be a clean situation and setup. Sick fair. Just hold on to that edge. Yep, good fair. What a grab setup. Grab. That's gonna be a slap. Yeah. And look at that. That's a 3 1 victory for Team West Coast. Hungrybox Pro were playing pretty decent. And, man, game four, Hungrybox had like four rests. Like, yeah. really sick on the button. Yeah. All right. So, it's looking like uh, closing time soon for you and I. Yeah, we did a lot of round one winners matches for the top 48. That's right. Looks like we got one of the top 16 matches in Professor Pro and Hungrybox versus True Nest and J. Yeah. Team West Coast won that. It's actually misreported on Smash GG. It's going to be updated soon. Yeah. It's, uh, I think, a pretty good day for teams that practice and have synergy. Yeah. We've seen, even at the lower end, with at the very beginning, Armada and Android versus Rick and Rick Lance. And Lance. We learned that synergy can keep you even with the best. Yeah. Even if your individual.